So what we're going to report on today, LEGO Star Wars Mayland is set to leave Legoland theme parks. Hello there guys, my name is Ghost Shadow, Mr. Bourne, but built for theme park news, and welcome to a theme park news from update from Legoland Parks. Now before we get started, got a few stuff to go over, because of course yesterday there wasn't a video, because I was in London till 2 in the, no, not even 2am, 3am in the morning, I uh, had a fantastic time, uh, but I'm absolutely shattered, you can probably hear it in my voice, I'm absolutely broke. Uh, <laughs> um, but I'm going to try and push through these videos, I've got a couple more to pre-record tomorrow, um, Got plenty of news updates set to come. Uh, we've got plenty of stuff that's been released. It was released yesterday, in fact, uh, which I missed out on reporting. So, uh, making up for it now. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, jeez. Um, <coughs> so, we've got loads of news updates from the likes of Skyland Attractions. Um, we've got some other stuff as well. We've got some opening dates and times for 2020 for Thought Park. And of course, Chessington as well. Uh, obviously Chessington Halloween days have been re revealed so gonna have a look at them hopefully Alton Towers do the same with their opening time so I can have a look at them as well uh, we've got a massive update still to come today uh, from Twos and Free this is on uh, some information about their 2020 stuff you know what they're working on and stuff like that we also have some exciting news about a 2021 edition which should be very exciting indeed for Twos and Free so I'm gonna get on about that in that video but this video is all about Lego Star Wars Miniland. On December the 31st, it will be leaving Legoland Winter. Um, it's, in the article it states it's going to leave all Legoland parks. However, it, I, I just focused on Legoland Windsor just for the fact that we're going to be saying farewell to Star Wars Miniland, Lego Star Wars Miniland, um, on December 31st. So that's going to be the last day to experience um, Legoland Star Wars Miniland. Um, that whole section so not sure what's going to replace it I would like to see maybe something like Ninjago or like a Harry Potter just something um, that's still a brand but it's good for a little like extra section of Miniland sort of thing um, so like I said it's leaving all the Legoland parks now many people have suggested that because Disney is starting to add more Star Wars related attractions like your Galaxy's Edge uh, Smuggler's Run, Millennium Falcon stuff and things like that Rise of the Resistance, uh, Millennium Falcon Smugglers Run, that's what I was thinking of. Um, with them sort of adding more, you know, Star Wars themed attractions, um, that could be a factor in why Legoland has decided to remove Star Wars. Um, also, by the way, uh, many people suggest that Star Wars Miniland was actually getting a bit old hat, uh, so Legoland sort of needs to bring something new in, uh, which I can kind of get. I mean, it's been open. Uh, for a few years now at the Star Wars Miniland at Legoland Windsor anyway um, I think it was 2012 Star Wars Miniland came in so you know it's been like you know it's been like operating longer than Nemesis of Terror and Ice Age 4D at Alton Towers the opening year of that as well um, but it's sort of I don't know it just feels like a bygone era of Legoland Windsor so uh, it's sad that it's going uh, I'm not going to lie, it's sad. Like I said, in terms of predicting what could replace it, I think with them doing the Duplo Dream Coaster next year, maybe we could see a brand new Miniland come in um, for the start of the season, for the start of the 2020 season, so we could have another new edition of Legoland Windsor uh, with like a new Miniland section. Uh, like I said, I think it'll be a brand. I think it'll be another brand, so it could be Lego Harry Potter, could be Lego Ninjago, they could bring that in, uh, do like some more sets from that. Uh, and this whole new Miniland section sort of theme the building up like an Oriental style uh, Miniland expansion. Just just simple things like that um, could be the case with this. Um, you know, again, we're not too sure exactly what's replacing it. Uh, all that we know is that Star Wars Miniland is going uh, December 31st, 2019. That's your last day of operation for Star Wars Miniland. Uh, I believe Legoland is, all, is open all the way through Christmas, so... Uh, that's a good, especially during Christmas time, that's a good way to sort of experience Star Wars Miniland for the final time. I'm sure they're going to do uh, some nice cool stuff. I'm sure, I mean I've seen pictures already, already. it looks, it looked like a good sort of Miniland expansion area. Uh, but it is a shame that it's going and again I'll be excited to see what replaces LEGO Star Wars Miniland in the future as well. So there we go, so that's the theme park news update from LEGO Star Wars Miniland. Like I said we've got another update to come today from Tuzan Freed. Uh, which is a small park in Europe 
and they've got some big stuff planned for next year and the year after so stay tuned for an update from that as well as some news updates over the next few days which we're going to pre-record on Saturday so fingers crossed that all goes through but thank you very much guys for watching another theme park newsroom update you guys love these videos uh, and I love pumping them out for you I will work through any conditions sleet, snow, rain, bad voice I will work through it uh, but thank you very much guys my name is Ghost Child make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video and for now guys my name is Ghost Child Kill the coast of life and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care have an awesome day my friends